In the last episode of r slash nice guys, we've learned that girls love bad boys who look homeless. Let's see which gems of timeless wisdom we will discover today. Don't be so dramatic, says boyfriend who punches walls. Looks more like she has been covering her ears to not listen to anything he had to say, so he had to punch the wall to finally get her attention. Wait, is this person analyzing this picture? Ah, uh, these are actors. I'm a little confused. Are you analyzing a stock photo used for an article from a satirical online magazine? Let's all just take a moment to appreciate how a completely fictional man can exhibit abusive behavior in a hypothetical universe that exists solely to mock this behavior and someone out there will still bend over backwards to defend him. While also suggesting that punching a wall is a rational thing to do to get someone's attention. This is absolutely insane. I don't know who needs to hear that, but uh, don't punch walls. It, it doesn't do anything. Met a girl last week. She was supposed to come over for dinner, but choked last minute. Sucks to be her. And uh, he's posting this beautiful picture of uh, some probably very tasty food. Went all out. Butternut squash soup that I made, not the box stuff. Barbecue chicken crapadier. Crapadier, sorry. My French is amazing. Nice garden salad with the fancy dressing and peach crisp uh, with ice cream for dessert. Also had a nice bottle of wine, but I'll keep that for the next time. Took some pics and sent her to her. See you next Tuesday. Cheers, everyone. Smiley face. So he just outed her on social media. I don't understand if he even likes this girl. Some people really have valid reasons to cancel plans. Imagine they actually go on a date a week from now and it turns out to be great and he regrets this post. I consider myself a high value man. My credit score starts with an 8, so swipe left if you aren't at least an 8. This high-value man knows his way around a Home Depot. If you play your cards right, your TV won't be the only thing I mount to your wall. What is this picture? Where is your head, bro? Are these his eyes? He also doesn't have a mouth or a nose. My basics, 5'9", active, cancer, graduate, he's definitely a cancer, graduate degree, never smoked, that's actually great, man, I was able to tell by the uh, chest, uh, something casual, so he's looking for something casual, how is something casual gonna handle such a high value man, and, and he is a... Uh, Mormon. Alright, he might also be a moron. I don't know, I'm having a hard time believing this isn't a sarcastic uh, profile. You both wanted to date. It's a comfort movie kind of night, haha. <laughs> photo challenge. Send a photo of you in PJs. WTF? How'd you get that picture? What? He found her picture? What? I have my ways. Eyes emoji. Uh, relax. I just saw your Instagram. I never gave you my Instagram and it's not connected to my profile. Why are you so worried? I just took your picture and googled it. It's not that hard. Oh, now you're not replying. Jesus Christ, you women are so paranoid. I'm not gonna do anything to you, I just think you're really pretty. Fine. Your loss. I'm not gonna do anything to you, I just think you're really pretty. This is actually so creepy, I can tell uh, why women would be creeped out by this. Even if you somehow found her picture through, I don't know, Google image search, Instagram mastermind hacking, I have no clue. Do not post it here. It's so weird. Or maybe it's actually great that he posted it uh, now she knows that he is creepy. Milady Tips. Fedora. Oh no, the bra fell off. 
So this is a meme, obviously this never actually happened. With some examples of your ideal first meet together slash date. And would you like to, with me, heart emoji and I am censored. Normally just grab a bite and drink or two, something with an outdoor patio is nice, bonus if there's a fire pit, so we can stay warm enough to hang out a bit and chat, but I'm open for anything public, really. I'm down to sit down and talk, if we first walk around and talk otherwise I feel so awkward, I'm not a player, or a sweet talker, or a good talker. It's always those players and stuff who are really good at making a girl laugh and smile on the first day, really. So you just admitted that you don't know how to make a girl smile. So you have zero sense of humor. Because that's what they do best and the rest of us actual, real, sincere, nice guys aren't really great at that because we're not actress. Actors. No, I don't think a sense of humor and being a down-to-earth, normal human being has anything to do with being an actor. It's actually quite the opposite. So it's hard for us to find anyone because we suck at manufacturing chemistry, like all of the players, and that is why girls get so sick of guys. Look, it's genuine chemistry, right? If something's working out between people, it can definitely be genuine chemistry. You don't have to manufacture it. Because only the players get their heart on the first date, bro, cry some more, okay? How about instead of crying you actually uh, become more talkative? I don't know, I don't know, man. Is that also fake? He's probably gonna say that's also fake. The only thing that's not fake is crying alone in your room, right? Never leaving your comfort zone. I see where you're coming from, but I'm a grown-ass woman. And that's why women say it's hard to believe a sweet, cute guy like me is single. I would love a grown-ass woman. And this is how it stops. Very strange interaction. Nice guys when asking you out. Nice guys after being declined. You know that feeling when you open the door for a girl, but she does not give you a blow- That is not the law of equivalent exchange. So of course, this is just a meme, but uh, a lot of these nice guys uh, have actually said uh, these exact words. Yeah, abuse of females sucks, but it's also an educational opportunity when you think of it. It's a chance to learn what happens when you date d d douches. What does that mean? And not nice guys. Douches. Uh, okay. Me in pick. Nice and single. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. Narcissistic, insecure, cynical, edgelord. Hope this one made your day. And if you are enlightened about the nature of men and women, uh, screw that. If you are entertained, subscribe and click the bell button to get notified whenever I upload. See you in the next one. Peace out.